would like to, before opening the floor for question, uh, make uh, some comments about uh, the, the link of technology in healthcare and the link uh, with technology in, in general. Uh, all, all innovation have to go through a, a three points uh, checklist. Uh, first, it has to be socially acceptable. That's the point number one. If it's not, it will never happen. And we've seen how difficult it is in the healthcare space, the divergence of, of interest. So, uh, but that, that's one of the screening and probably what makes uh, uh, technology adoption, uh, innovation adoption in the healthcare very difficult because this is a socially, the social acceptability. That's point one. The second thing, it must be economically viable. And Jacques presented the challenge of matching supply and demand, the infinite uh, possibility of supply, but also the infinite needs uh, from very rare disease and others, and how you're going to uh, organize this match, the lack of visibility on future return uh, that temper. So I think this is a second uh, test. And the third is uh, the technical feasibility. And here, uh, paradoxically, this is where we see uh, less problem. I think we are not short of ideas of, on how to do things, on how they could be done. But I think here in healthcare, we struggle in particular with the first two. And these are the challenge, I think, even from a technology standpoint, where we should focus. Uh, looking at this, uh, and you look at the evolution, how technology has been designed. Uh, we started by uh, product-centric design. That how it has been done, if you think of information technology, uh, processor, the Intel is the uh, eve at our, at our technology era. Uh, you, you, you do the product, you, you, we heard yesterday about, uh, from Francois about uh, Moore's Law, and that was a product-centric design. I, I have to produce, and I will figure out uh, the demand, and I will create the demand. Uh, this era is over, and we moved with the uh, rise of the internet to a, a people-centric design. Uh, unfortunately, so far, it has been a very consumer centric design uh, where uh, when you are the object uh, you have to wonder what it means to you but that's a, that's a reality and and uh, here in healthcare we have this duality that has been expressed by by uh, my colleague on the panel of uh, is a patient a consumer certainly not from different aspects but certainly yes from many other aspects so but we have we are still in this paradigm of uh, consumer centric design uh, we know, we sense it, but we have not moved yet that uh, this time is over and we need to move to a planet-centric design. Uh, we heard it from uh, uh, Mr. Siegel this morning in the previous session, the importance of there is no health in a healthy environment. So that was clear. I'm not the expert, I believe in it uh, as a patient. So, uh, but what does it mean? And, and if you look at the adoption of technology and how to evolve uh, the, include these parameters from product to, to consumer to planet-centric, there is one uh, very interesting aspect to approach it that I like personally, is to look at uh, the question of the negative externalities. Uh, because it's known in economy, this is a parameter that is not uh, uh, taken into account. This, is, this creates huge distortion on the debate around climate. Uh, I, but, and I can only recommend uh, the book by uh, Professor Christian Gaulier uh, from uh, the University, uh, the School of Economics in Toulouse, uh, called uh, Climate After the End of the Month. And uh, uh, that's a very interesting thing about also the paradox on okay, I, I have this long-term equation that is impacting me short-term, but it doesn't materialize at the end of the month as well. So, because I still have to pay my bill, I think uh, in France in particular, and we see it again uh, with uh, the price of uh, energy. Uh, and this, this is a very difficult conversation, but I think uh, including uh, negative externalities in the equation of technology design is a must, just period. You, you have to do it, find a way, uh, because if you don't move it, the old paradigm of uh, consumer-centric uh, will lead us into the wall. It's leading us currently, by the way. The last point is, of course, uh, performance. So you've noticed it's four Ps, uh, people, uh, product, people, planet, and performance. So we love acronyms in technology. Uh, and I think uh, uh, Jacques evidenced the, 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 the problem. It's the visibility on the return, but also the acceptability 
of the return. I mean, uh, when, when, when you, you, you have a breakthrough in technology, when you look at uh, the GAFAM, it, this, you, you, these are very high amounts. Some would even say insane amount of uh, profit. That gives you, when you have Mr. Zuckerberg welcoming Prime Minister Modi and say, the, this is the third and the fourth largest state in the world meeting, you say you wonder if really Facebook is a state, but he said, yeah, I have 1.3 billion users, so I'm as, almost as big as India. That creates some distortion and rejection of the population about, uh, about the technology evolution. And I think we're at a phase right now in our society, and this has been evidenced by uh, another professor of economy, uh, Carlota Perez, on, the, on the, 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 the economy, the financials of technology that shows there is always a cycle where there, there is this uh, huge development that is understood only by a few that makes a lot of money. And then there is a crisis, a crisis of trust. We heard the question. And then society needs to reappropriate uh, uh, technology because they have, as I often say, uh, a bigger problem to solve than the ego of some of the big tech CEOs. Um, and I didn't mention one in particular. Uh, so that that's the thing. And uh, I, I think that's the, the perspective on technology. So the parameters are here, uh, but it's a, it's a complex equation. But I think what is good is we've learned a lot. We've built assets, and now we understand the parameters. So if we get together with some more of a holistic views, we should be able to map some ways forward and anticipate, it is was said before, and prepare for the future. So I'm rather on the not utopian, but optimist side of the technology. Mm -hmm.